People always ask me, did you have formal training? Yes. Well, I said, no, yeah, I had formal training. I went to Savoy every single night in the week. <laughs> I was in the Savoy practically every day in the week. <laughs> and I danced up there. And I just, I mean, steps would come to me and I'd do them. And I'd show them to somebody else. That's my training. <laughs> This videotape will teach you the basics of social style Lindy Hop as it originated in the 1920s and is danced by thousands today. Thanks to dancers and teachers like Frankie Manning, Lindy Hop is alive and well. In this videotape, you'll learn the basic rhythms and footwork that make up the dance. How to communicate, how to move with a partner. You'll learn six beginning level moves and the traditional styling that has made Lindy Hop the American social dance. Here are the moves you'll learn. The Charleston. The swing out from closed position. Swing out from open position. Lindy Circle. Kick away. Heels. The videotape is divided into two sections of three moves each. Frankie and Aaron will dance each move up to speed, then follow with detailed instruction and finally, slow motion dance. We'll signal you each time they begin a new move. My name is Frankie Manning, and I would like to introduce you to one of the most talented young ladies in the world of swing, Erin Stevens. Erin and I would like to show you the Savoy style Lindy Hop. I say the Savoy style Lindy Hop because the Lindy Hop was originated in the Savoy Ballroom in New York. So. What we are doing is the original style of the Lindy Hop. And since all dancers like to be singers at times, we are going to sing a little song for you instead of dancing. And we would like for you to sing along, but we, I'm going to give you the words so you can sing along with, with Aaron and I. Now the words go like this. A one, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. Now, all together, a one, one two, three, three and four, four five, five, six, seven, seven and eight. eight. A one, one two, three, three and four, four five, six, six seven, seven and eight. eight. Now, we will demonstrate by moving our feet to that same count that we just gave you. Okay? Yes. Are you ready, Mrs.? I'm ready. Okay. The fella starts on his left foot. The girl starts on her right foot. And you start like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we will turn our backs to you, and you will see how it looks from this direction. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now that's the basic count. Now those counts continue whenever you are doing what we call a basic eight count. And now, the first move in section one, swing out from open position.
Now, what the fellow will do when he starts his count, like I said, you start, the fellow starts on his left foot, and you, you rock back on your left foot in this position, and you have one, two, three, and four. Again, you have this position, the fellow side, one, two, three, and four. Again, that step is one, two, three, and four. That is what the fella does. Now, Aaron Stevens will show you what the lady do. And I will move out of the picture. <laughs> During the count of one, two, the ladies are twisting their feet. And this is kind of the signature of the Lindy Hop. So we're twisting one, two. And what happens is on the count of eight, I'm getting ready for the step. So I'm thinking five, six, seven, and I step on eight with my left foot. So I'm ready to twist right, left. And when I twist, I'm thinking of staying on the balls of the feet. So if you just practice this twisting back and forth, staying on the balls of the feet, letting your toes swivel out to each side, going right, left, right, left back and forth. Then if you were actually counting it, you would think five, six, seven, get ready, and one, two, three, and four. We'll do that again. Five, six, seven, get ready, think one, two, three, and four. We'll do it again. Five, six, seven, step, think one, two, three, and four. One more time. Five, six, seven, step. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Aaron has showed you how the young lady twists. And I've showed you how the man does the rock step on one, two, three, and four. Now, I'm going to show you that rock step from a different angle. And I'm also going to show you how you have to travel on that step toward the young lady. Now, in social dancing or in any kind of dance, you always want to follow the lady. I mean, like if you're walking down the street and you see a young lady that you're attracted to, you're going to follow her, right? Okay, so you're attracted to this young lady on the floor. So now you want to go to her. So I want to show you the angle at what you have to go to her on. But just remember that when you're dancing, you want to get out of her way. Get out of her way. Remember that. Okay, this is how it goes. You have one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's try it again. You have one, two, three, and four. That's one, two, three, and four. And you're halfway around the lady when you do that. So I'm going to show you that the women also move halfway around um, during the one, two, three, and four. So if we start five, six, seven, and we step eight, we think twist, one, two, and we move on the three and four halfway around. Take that again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. So our three and four becomes a traveling motion. We'll take it again. Five, six, seven, get ready. Think twist, twist, then step and step. So you've moved halfway. Okay, now that you have seen Aaron's part and you have seen my part, we're going to now show you how we do this together. But first you must remember that your partner's right hand is resting in your left hand. And this is the way that you will start the dance, a partner dance. So what we're going to do now is do the one, two, three, and four together. All right? And a one, two, three, and four. Now, if you will notice, I'm already halfway around the lady on the fourth count. So what I, remember at the beginning, I told you, get out of the way of the lady and travel toward her. So this is what I'm doing. 
I'm saying a one, two, get out of the way. All right? One more time. And a one, two, three, and four. This is the count we got up to before. And if you can notice, at this position, our shoulders are practically parallel. And I'm getting ready to move out of my partner's way, and she's going to pass by me on the count of five. So we're going to say a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we'll do that again. A one. A two, you know what to do. And a one, two, three, and four. And we're in this position again. I let my partner go by five, six, seven, and eight. Now, there's one thing I want to say. I'm closing in on my partner. We have a close position, like here. One, two, three and four. We're in a closed position, but we are going to a open position. So like five, and I'm gonna release my partner, my arms from my partner's waist, six, seven, and eight. I'll show you that again. You have one, two, three, and four, five, release, seven, and eight. Five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. So at this point, we're parallel to each other, and as he sends me past, he's going to hook his right foot behind, and I'm going to step out past him on five. On six, we both step as we face each other, and we finish with a seven and eight. Once more. Five, six, seven. We go a one, two, three, and four. We're halfway around. He's going to hook back with his right foot on five as I step out. We face each other on six. We step seven and eight. Now, when you're doing this eight counts, if you want to make yourself look, look good or look exciting, you want to really get down in your knees. Your knees should be bent, and you should feel that as a cushion. And you want to start in this position. You bring that left foot back, and as you do, it's just like you're walking down the street. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of guys that say, right, left, right, left, and they take the right hand and place it forward the same way they do their right foot, but that's not the way you walk. So now you just pretend that you're walking and your right hand will swing back with your left foot, just like that, and you're down in your knees. And as you do that, you're going to stay here, and as you step forward, you're going to stay in this bent position. Now, maybe you, you want to, but generally, when, when we're doing this, we are uh, like, uh, we dance with a beautiful young lady. Now, we are, take, we are bowing to this young lady. So think that. Here, you're actually, you're bowing to this young lady. Hey, you know, one of those things like that. And when you do that, you notice she cracked a smile. So that's what you want to get out of her. You want to get that smile. So get down there. And now, this is what the fella should do. I'm going to do the full basic eight counts. Now, th and then Aaron is going to show you how the girls respond to your bowing to her. So the fella is here. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And for the women, while he's coming down low, we're staying up tall, and while we're twisting, we're saying, oh, hello, hello, partner. So our arms are working with the twist. We're swiveling, and we're working our arm. And as we come in, we're going one, two. We come in. I put my hand on his shoulder as we trade places. We're working together, and the arm just keeps dancing with me, and it's set up to go again. So that's, that's a styling that you want because it also looks good and also makes the girl say, well, okay, this guy's very polite, you know, he's bowing to me and everything, you know, so, or, uh, yeah, maybe I will have a cup of coffee with him later on, you know, so this is one thing that you're going to want to remember to do that, fellas, especially if you're dancing with a beautiful young lady. You want to do this, and the girls, their response, just as, as uh, Aaron said, is, 
a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if you notice, during the whole time, I'm looking at my partner. You know, like, <sighs> you dancing on the floor with a young lady for all night long, you be dancing. You don't want to be looking all around there. You know? <laughs> Here's a young lady in front of you. Pay attention to her. Look at her. You know, you're dancing. Hey, baby. You know, one of those things like that. So you want to get down with that. All right? <laughs> Take a moment to just get set to the feeling, then get ready, one, two, travel in, swing her out, seven and eight, ladies, twist, travel in, face your partner, then travel out, seven and eight, men, rock step, take hold of your partner, place her, release her, let her go out, again, one, Two men take hold of your partner, place her, release her, and let her swing out. That completes the swing out from open position. Next, the Lindy circle. And it goes like this. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time. Lindy circle. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time. And a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, this is breaking down the Lindy circle. And if you'll notice, we are going to walk toward each other this time. And I'm going to grasp my partner around the waist, all the way around the waist, where my hands are going to be around her waist like this, because I, I think she has been apart from me too long. So this is the way that we're going to go. It's one, two, three, and four. Now maybe you can't see it from that angle, so we'll do it from this angle. You have one, two, three, and four. And you notice where my hand is here. Okay, so from there, on the five and six, we're going to do the same hook, but we're going to hold our partner close, close. And it is one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight. So we'll do that again. You have one two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, travel in together. Men, hold her close and bring her around you, and then slide the feet back. Again, one, two, travel in together. Men, hold on to her so we circle around and slide back seven and eight. That completes the Lindy circle. Next, the swing out from closed position. Okay, you have shown you the Lindy circle. Now coming out of the Lindy circle, you're going to take a rock step and go into a basic eight count Lindy swing. And this is how that is done. You have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, you did your Lindy circle. You're going to come out of that Lindy circle, and you're going into a basic eight-count swing. And this is how it's done. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you notice, my right hand is around my partner's waist but I have to readjust my hand to here because what's going to happen is that I'm going to step out in front of my partner. And in order to do that, I have to move my hand so that I can come to this position. And I cannot do it if I got a here. Okay, so we take it from here, from the closed position. And if you notice, I step one, two, three, and four. Now, you see, I'm 
already in front of my partner. Now on the five, I move aside so that she can pass me by. And then six, seven, and eight. Again, that movement is one, two, three, and four. And if you notice, I'm halfway in front of my partner. I take my right foot, put it behind my left, and that brings me out of her way. She passes by six, seven, and eight. In front of the position, which I have my hand here, have all the way around my partner's waist, I move it to the middle of, my, of her back to start the eight count, which is one, two, three, and four. And as you get in this position, fellas, do not pull your partner to you like that. You, a little pressure on her back, and that will let her know that you just want her to go out this way. You do not want to pull your partner there again. You do not want to pull it. You have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So just a slight pressure on her back will tell her where you want her to go when you're dancing with her. And what I feel when we do the swing out is, as he says, he adjusts the hand and he steps in front of me. So I've been cut off and so I do hang back at this moment. Then we trade places, he hooks back and releases me and sends me out. And one, two, men travel around in front of her, then place her and release her and let her swing out. And one, two, men again move in front of her, cutting her off, and then pull her straight past you, let her travel out, seven and eight. Here's a review of all the moves covered in section one. When you feel confident with the material, move on to section two. Now, the Charleston. What we're going to talk about right now is a little Charleston step. And it's a side-by-side -side Charleston where you and your partner are very close together. Now, before you get into that, you really want to get into the mood of the music. You want to hear the music. So what we are doing just before we do this Charleston is what something that we call the jockey. This is getting the tempo, feeling your partner, and doing the dance. So the jockey starts with a rock step. The fella rocks back on his left, the girl on her right. And it's the, with the count of eight, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna go into a Charleston. And that Charleston is like a rock step here. Step with your left foot, the fella kicks his right foot, 
The girl steps forward on her right foot and kicks her left foot. You kick your right and she kicks her left. In other words, you're both kicking the inside leg forward and bring it down, step back, step forward. And what I want you to do while you're doing this, do not swing your legs like that, but bring it up from the knee and kick it. Kick from the knee, let your knee swing it like this. Let your knees be the springs. Now what you're doing, the count of that, is each step that you take is going to be two counts. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have your eight counts there. Ooh, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> anyway, we jock here now. And here we go. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Charleston, stop. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. First, just set your bounce and then get ready. Think rock, step, kick out from the knee, kick and back, step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the bounce going. Keep the bounce. Kick out from the knee and take it back. A one, two, kick, step, kick, and back, step. Again, one, two, kick, step, kick, and take it back. That completes the Charleston. Next, heels. Okay, now we're going to do a little styling step. And it's going to come from the eight count swing out. And this is a little step that you can add while you're dancing, a little stylish step that you can do while you're dancing. Now, I want to explain to you before we start to do this step that most of you are going to say, well, how do you lead into this step? When you're doing a swing out, it won't be necessary for your partner to give you a lead into the step or tell you about the step. If you know how to do it, you will be able to do it because this step is designed for a female or a male. So you can do it, the male can do it alone if he feels like it. The girl can do it alone if she feels like it. You know, I mean, she might be dancing and she says, uh, uh, she asks a partner, she said, do you know how to do the heels? And he look at her and say, heels? She said, okay, forget it. And she can go ahead and do it herself. Now, if he says to her, do you know how to do the heel? She say, oh, yeah, heel, I know how to do a heel. <laughs> <laughs> so she can go ahead, or he can go ahead and do it, and she will do it with him. Now, if he does it without saying anything to her, and she see him do it, and she know how to do it, she can go ahead and do it. So with all that talking, I guess I better go ahead and do the step, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what we're doing, we're going to start on a swing out, a basic swing out. And you have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what you're doing is you're going back on your heels. This is one. You bring your toes down, it's two. Step forward, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, and four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Now, in doing that, I would like to show you what I meant when I first started. I'm going to swing my partner out. She is going to do the heel step, and I am not going to do it. Then the second time, I will do it, and she won't do it. Okay? All right. So my partner is going to do it, and I'm not going to do it. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. Now me. Six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four. Both of us together. Seven, eight, one, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take your partner and swing her out. Seven, step down. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Notice that the shoulders stay forward as we pop. Arms swing back, traveling in. Five, six, seven, down. Pop one, down two, three, and four. Keep the elbows bent between your partners when you do the heel pop so you're not pulling your partner off balance. That completes heels. Next, kick away. Okay, so now we have shown you a step that's called the heel step. Now we're going to show you another little styling step that's called the kick away. And the reason why we call it the kick away is because you kick away. You kick away from your partner, you kick away from yourself. You don't kick your partner, so you kick away. So uh, this, this is also one of those stylish steps that you do that can be done by either the female or the male. So when you're dancing with your partner, you don't have to ask him, can he do the kick away? If you feel like you want to do it while you're dancing, do it. So this is the way that the kick away is done. We have an open position here, and we do the same basic eight count. You have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to turn your body. You're going to pivot on your right foot for the fellas, pivot on the left foot for the girls. And you're going to kick your left leg for the guys, right legs for the girl. Now again, you will be kicking from the knee with your right leg bent. You will not swing your leg. You're going to kick it from the knee like that, not like this, it's like that. Okay, so you have seven and eight. Eight, one, turn two, your knee still up, stepping forward, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. Pivot on your right foot, turn, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Again, the styling step is individual. You don't need to wait for the man's lead to do it, but I'll tell you what I feel when I'm making the decision to do the styling step. We're going one, two, three, and four, five, six. And I set up on seven and eight by turning away from him. But I don't let my arm go away. So I'm keeping the connection here the same. I don't want to pull my partner off balance, and he shouldn't pull me off balance. And when you kick, it's right underneath you. Kick, and then you have a long way to go on three and four, getting around five, six, seven, and eight. Swinging your partner out, you turn away from your partner, kick, and travel back in. Again, don't pull your partner off balance. As you turn away, you kick, lift, travel back in, think five, six, seven, eight, kick, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight again. One, two, three. 